hey guys hope you're all well i was just about to get ready so i thought you know what let me put the camera on and um i'll get ready with you guys so i'm having a really nice cup of coffee yeah who loves putting caramel syrup in their coffee I just love it. Have you guys tried it? It's so yummy. I uh, made coffee for my sister in law last time she came and I put some caramel syrup in it and she loved it. And she like texted me and she was like, Yo, Shelly, what was that syrup thing that you put in my coffee? Mate? Right, let's get on with it. I've done my morning skincare. So, you know, I put all the oils on and my sun cream and all of that on. So, I'm going to go straight in with my foundation i've recently been using this foundation the nyx um can't stop won't stop really good foundation and for some reason i like applying it with a brush just take these nose pins out and yeah i just really like the way it guides on with a brush yeah i didn't get myself a mirror guys why don't i Babe, babe, Ma. can you give me the mirror from the fussies, Ma. please? Oh. Now I'm going to apply um, concealer and I'm using Huda Beauty overachiever concealer by and um, sorry in the shade graham cracker i've ordered myself another one a bit lighter because i want to really um highlight sometimes you know special occasions you know when you want to pop a highlight under your eyes Now I am going to apply um, some powder. I use my favourite, which is the FW Beauty Pink Setting Powder. Okay, I just dab it on. I don't really bake. I just kind of like dab it on under my eyes like that. And then I go over my eyelids, on my nose, around my mouth, and on the forehead. Nothing serious, just kind of like mattifying everything. Next, I'm going to do some really quick contouring um, with the ABH palette. I just use all three colours and just literally... I really like my big forehead. I used to never like it when I was younger. But now, big foreheads are so in. Don't you guys agree? What I'm gonna do is get a smaller brush and contour my nose. I used to use that bigger brush to contour my nose, but um that's just really messy so now i've just i've just recently started properly doing it with a smaller brush and it's just so much more precise then i blend it out with the big brush though apply some blusher and i'm using my milani cosmetics blusher just to dab it on the apples of my cheek Is the light too bright? Okay, let's put in the nose pins before I lose them. I'm gonna now do my eyebrows because I feel like I look really weird. I used to use um, an eyebrow pomade. Either the ABH one or the Revolution Pro eyebrow pomade, but recently I've switched and I've started using, um, where's the brush? Oh. I've started using um, powder, which is so much easier and quicker 
because nobody got time for that. So I just used the Bengal palette and um, which is from FWBE and I used the shade Gram which is a really dark brown colour and I first applied that on the ends of my brow. With the leftover product, I just um, brush over the front. Like so. And then I'd use the black shade as well, Shurma, because my hair is really, really dark. So I just want my eyebrows to match it. My eyebrow cut, um, hair is quite dark as well, actually. So I like to go with the black. I'm just filling the ends just a bit more on those sparse areas here I'm gonna put some what do you call it highlighter on yeah my voice is gone croaky I think I'm falling ill so just a, some quick highlighter on the cheeks the tip of the nose on the bridge of my nose, upper lip, a bit on my forehead and then I like to get a smaller brush and apply it in the corner of my eyes okay that's highlighter done All right, next we're gonna move on to the eyes. I'm gonna use my Bengal palette today, but today I wanna use something different because um, there's some shades in here that I don't really use that often. So I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna use this purple color, which is called Mela. And I'm going to brush it over my crease first. Yeah. Should I zoom you guys in? Yeah, let me zoom you guys in. I love the fact that this palette it's talc free, so it has no talc in it, um, it's vegan and it's cruelty free. So um, it's really important to be aware of stuff like this because we tend to not, we kind of ignore stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's really important because, you know, you know, we should think about the environment and the world because we are living in it and our children and our children's children and our grandchildren and etc etc they'll be living in it and you know it will affect them in the future i'm gonna apply the same shade underneath with a um, angle brush on my lids i'm gonna apply this color here called bazaar such a pretty color i'm just thinking how should i apply it you usually apply them kind of shade with my finger i try and do it with a brush bizarre oh wow that is so pretty wow oh, that, that applied really nicely actually I'm going to make it a bit warm, so um, on the crease again, I'm going to apply um, Bangla, this really nice rustic reddish orangey colour. Mm. 
Okay. Next, I'm going to apply the black shade in the palette, which is Shurma. With an angle brush, I'm going to apply it as eyeliner. And I love doing this because it's just so much quicker. You don't even have to be that um, precise with this eyeliner because it can be a bit messy, but... I only apply it on the outer edge, by the way. Babe, huh? I need some lip products. I don't care. Can you get my lip product from? I don't know your lip product. Okay, okay. Stop the shaman in the bag of lipstick, please. It's a black bag. It's a black bag. Five minutes. Okay. Right, I'm gonna curl my lashes. This is a really important step, by the way. I'm going to apply some mascara guys, this is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic, I have been loving this mascara. Okay, mascara's done. I'm going to quickly um, apply some lip products because I need to emergency do that. Right, first I'm going to put some lipstick on, which is the MAC um, lipstick in satin finish called Mocha. As you guys know, I wear this, I think, every single day, literally. I'm also going to line my lips. Guys, where's my lip liner, bruv? Yeah, I thought I lost my lip liner. My favourite lip liner, which is the um, MAC lip liner in Chestnut. I'm trying to look for my sharpener. Because this needs a good sharpening. Where's my sharpener, man? Da -da. Yeah, where the hell's my sharpener? I had a really good sharpener as well, you know. Okay, forget it. Just use the blunt lip liner. So the reason why I like um, applying lip liner after putting lipstick on is because it, my lips are now nice and moisturised and it's not going to drag my lip. Do you know what I'm saying? You know when you, you've got dry lips and you're trying to put lip liner on and it's like dragging it? Oh, I hate that. And it's just easier because now I know my lip shape. I'm going to put some uh, lip gloss on, which is my Soap and Glory XXL Pillow Plump. Thanks, Shima, for recommending this. I love it, guys. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. It is so good. Get it from Boots. Right, now, my makeup's kind of done, actually, but... Today... I'm gonna apply some lashes because so yeah um like I was saying these lashes are from lashes and fleek and these are the in the style dream and um I want these in a giveaway and um yeah I haven't tried them on so I thought you know what I'm gonna try them on today and see what they look like Often. Oh wow, these are actually a dream. They're really, really natural, but at the same time, they're so pretty and girly. There's my natural lashes, and uh, these are the lashes we dream on. really easy so I love about lashes and fleek lashes they're so easy to apply very lightweight and um so pretty oh my god I love all her designs I wish I could just buy all of them the girl's gotta pay her bills this is the final look guys I hope you enjoyed watching this get ready with me what time is it 
two o'clock oh my god that's perfect hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and um yeah thanks for watching bye love ya